What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about skincare. So let me know if this used to be you or is you currently, but usually when winter hits, I kind of give up on my skincare. And in recent years, I've learned you just can't do that. Usually when it got colder, when it wasn't as sunny, I completely stopped using sunscreen. But now I know better and you should never stop using sunscreen, even on cloudy days. Look, I've got a little alfalfa thing going on. So I wanted to make this video to talk to you guys about my current skincare routine. Now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I am on a skincare journey. Yes, I'm still on that journey. It's been a long time, but you know, you gotta tweak it as you go. I wanted to share some of my current favorites, some new favorites, things I wouldn't have discovered if my friends didn't tell me about them. It's kind of like word of mouth. And that's what I wanna do for you guys. I wanna share things that I love as I find them. Anyways, let's get started with some of the skincare products I'm using right now. Let's say it's the end of the day. I'm ready to take off all of this makeup and cleanse my skin thoroughly. This Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm has been my go-to, my top favorite. It just melts my makeup off so easily and it lasts a really long time. Look at how much I have. I don't know when I bought this, but I know it's definitely been a while, but any type of cleansing balm, if you don't have it, if you've never tried one, definitely give it a try because it really just melts everything away. I do the double cleansing method, which means I use an oil-based cleanser first, and then I follow that up with a water-based cleanser. I just rub this cleansing balm all over my face and then rinse through because I'm getting ready for the next step, the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. So this is my water-based cleanser that I use after that cleansing balm, and it really does a good job of taking everything off. Now, how do I know? Because after this step, I use a toner. So this is obviously an old bottle because it, it's such a big bottle. I don't know why I bought this. I don't know if it was on sale, but I was like, this is gonna last me a really long time, and it has, but I use the Thayer's Facial Toner uh, Witch Hazel Cucumber Scent. So this is alcohol free. So what I do is I get a little cotton round, dab a little bit of this on it, and then just kind of pat my face through. And if I see any makeup left behind, I know I need to go back and use more of the facial cleanser, the CeraVe facial cleanser. I feel like that double cleansing method along with the toner has really helped keep my skin clear. Mask me was a whole big issue for me back when the pandemic first hit and there were mask mandates all over the country and I started breaking out all over. So I really tried my best to kind of fix that problem. And ever since I figured out a good system for it, I've kept up with it. This is one that I cannot skip in my skincare routine anymore. Now, in my older videos, I'm sure I've talked about toner in general, and I just never knew if it had a point, if it made a difference. I really didn't get it because I feel like I was just kind of wasting my time. But ever since Mask Me, I noticed this has made a huge difference. While we're on the topic of Mask Me real quick, I wanna talk about this Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. This is something I still have, have on hand. Look, I've used like about half of this during the pandemic so far. And I would spray this on the inner side of my mask, the part that goes over my face, because I heard that if you spray toner on your face mask before you put it on, it'll help keep your skin clear. It'll help keep the mask me at bay. And I did notice a difference when I started doing that. So I just always keep this on hand. It used to be in my car. I've since taken it out. But if we do go back to the way things used to be, you'll know this will be in my car again. So now after toner, I know people use serums. I'm currently not using any because I feel like I don't have any that I actually have fallen in love with. There is one I'm really wanting to try from IT Cosmetics. It's called Bye Bye Dark Spots, I think. I'm not really sure, but if you've been following me for a while on this channel, you'll know that I'm on a journey to lighten up these dark spots. Of course, I have makeup on right now, but I've got dark spots here. The ones on my nose have brightened up a ton from laser treatment. I've tried the photo facial and that made a huge difference for me. But right now, this is my main focus and right here, but this is my number one right now. So no serums are in my current skincare rotation right now, which means now the next step is moisturizer. Now I have two that I want to talk about. The first one is from Tula. This is the face filter, blurring primer, and moisturizer. This is like a little two in one. I have a full review on this. I didn't think I was going to be a fan, but I'm actually a huge, huge 
fan of this. It really does blur your imperfections and it really does moisturize. So I really do like this and you can see I'm basically out of this, but definitely gonna buy this again. The other moisturizer I wanna talk about is from Neutrogena. The Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream Extra Dry. I don't have dry skin, I have oily skin year round. So why do I have this extra dry formula? Well, I just think it works great. There really is no scent. It's a pretty fresh scent and you don't really need a ton of it to cover your full face, I think. But what I really like about this is that it is a gel cream mixture. And I feel like sometimes with gel skincare products, my face can kind of feel a little tight after, but it only lasts for a few minutes. And for me, I kind of want that instant smooth, moisturized feel right after I put on my moisturizer. And this is exactly what this get. It is very light, it is very airy. I would have never tried this if it wasn't for my best friend, Allison. And she brought this over from Atlanta when she came to Tennessee for my wedding. And she's like, here, try this. She's always like, tell me products to try. So I gave it a try and I actually really like it. Now I am very selective when it comes to drugstore skincare products, but this has quickly become a top favorite of mine just because you can easily access it. Like this is in Target. They probably have it at Ulta. I'm sure it's at Walmart. Like it's easily accessible. And that was important to me because here living in Great Falls, Montana, I don't have access to a lot of things. Now this is a little pricier than your normal drugstore um, moisturizer, but it works. It's amazing. I absolutely love it. And if you're afraid that's going to be a little too moisturizing, if you have oily skin, I'm here to tell you it's not. I also like that this includes hyaluronic acid, which is good for me with my skincare journey because I'm trying to keep my skin as clear as possible. And so far I've had no negative side effects, all good things. So I started talking about this video as if it was nighttime and I was taking off all of my makeup. So let's kind of rewind a little bit and say, hey, it's daytime. I would still use all the same things. I don't really use toner in the morning, but one thing I use every single morning is sunscreen. And right now I have two different types of sunscreen in my current skincare rotation. And the first one I wanna talk about comes from Supergoop. This is the Unseen Sunscreen. And you can see where it's supposed to say Unseen Sunscreen, completely faded off, but it's like a shimmery logo there. Um, this acts as a primer for your makeup. So that's something I really, really like about it. This is SPF 40, water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes. So I really, really love this not tinted or anything. It's clear. It actually looks like normal primer. I would say the texture is comparable to the Smashbox primer. Well, let me go grab it. Okay. So here's the primer I was talking about. I actually haven't used this in a very long time because I have this. So here is that one. It looks a little yellow when you compare it to this one. Maybe it's the light. Maybe it's something else. I, I don't know, but I mean, this was kind of pointless to try to show you on my pants, but it's clear. You can't really see anything and they both work the same way. The only difference is this has sunscreen. So I really love this product. I love all Superfood products and I'm almost out of this. I bought this when I was in Atlanta back in May when I was checking out my wedding venue, um, but nothing but good things to say about this product absolutely love it the other sunscreen i'm currently using comes from elta md i got this off amazon i like that it has a pump and you can just pump it out and you can just so i usually do maybe like a maybe two to three pumps so i can cover my face it is tinted so i really like that and i usually use this on days when i plan to not put on any makeup so I'll put this on and then maybe like a little bit of powder over top, but that's pretty much it. So this is still new. It's pretty full. What I like about this one specifically is that it has hyaluronic acid. So this is my first time using L to MD. I've used samples before from dermatologists, but the one I feel like I really truly love comes from La Roche Posay. I'm saying that correctly. That was my favorite, favorite go-to sunscreen. I think I've tried both the tinted and regular formula. So I love that one as well, but I just wanted to give this one a try. And what I've noticed from the difference between the two is that this feels a little more sticky on the skin. Not like right after, just like when you put it on. Whereas the La Roche Posay brand kind of just melts into my face and is a little more easier to smooth. Now I don't have a bottle or a sample to show you. So I'm just gonna like 
put a link to it down below. That way you can see it for yourself and kind of decide which one you want to try between the two. But for me personally, I'm happy I have both of these because this is what I use when I put on makeup. And then for no makeup days, I will use this or the Rare Loche Passe, which I'm probably going to get after this runs out, which won't be for a while. Now I want to talk about some face masks real quick. My number number one favorite, which I am already out of, is from Teamy. It is the Butterfly Beauty Mask and it smells amazing. I'm still planning to order a new jar of it. I just have a few other face masks that I really would like to use first. I'm going to talk about them right now. I've really been enjoying these face masks from Formula. I don't know if the brand is Formula 1006 or, I don't know, or if it's just Formula, but I have the Berry Bright Exfoliating Mask, Mud Mask, and then I have the Seaside Glow Skin Hydrating Peel Mask with Algae and Sea Clay. So these two, I feel like really, really, really make a big difference in my skin. I know when my skin was feeling extra dry, I started using this and it kind of brought all that hydration back into my skin. Well, cause it is the skin hydrating peel mask. These work pretty quickly for what you're looking for in a mask. I feel like these have the fastest effect on your face. And I probably use these like maybe once a week or so, maybe every other week. I don't go crazy with it because this is exfoliating and you know, maybe, and this one was just like a sample I was trying. So really like both. The other one I have a full review on YouTube. It is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay Mask. I really love how this product works. The only thing I don't like is that you have to mix it up yourself. So when I bought this, I didn't realize it was just powder. I thought that it was just a big jar. And I was like, oh, this is great. I'm never gonna run out. But you actually have to mix it up yourself. So I do a little bit of water, a little bit of this, get a little spatula, mix it up. And at first I was always making more than I needed. So that was a little annoying because I felt like I was wasting all this product. But I've since learned to go slow, take it easy, and turns out you really need less than you think when you're mixing this together. But the way it tightens up on your skin feels so amazing once you wash it all off. And then afterwards, your skin just feels so clean and smooth. Now, because this is something you have to mix up yourself, there have been so many nights when like I'm out of the shower, I wanna use this, but I just get too lazy to mix it up. And really, I just need to move past that. You know, it's just, it's just how it is because for what it does, it really is worth dirtying a bowl. It just is. So if you're looking for some face masks, I definitely recommend this or one of these and the Teamy Butterfly Beauty Mask. Oh, and real quick, one more thing. I mentioned how I love Supergoop. I want to talk to you about the sunscreen powder. If you've been following me on Instagram, you'll know I talk about this all the time because, because, because it is so easy to just dab on some sunscreen powder over your makeup and it doesn't ruin anything. Oh, I just love this. And I just feel like I'm really doing a good job of protecting my skin. The one I have came with a few refills. This is kind of old actually, but when I first got this, I wasn't using it consistently. Now I am, and I think I've already switched out one of these, so I'm doing a good job. But definitely recommend a sunscreen powder to carry with you at all times. This stays in my work bag, and when I'm gonna be out and about, like if I'm on vacation, like I was for my wedding, this came with me too. And that is the end of my skincare video. I hope you enjoyed everything I had to share. If you have any questions about what I'm using or how I'm using them, just leave them down in the comments, send me a message, I'm happy to help in any way that I can. I believe skincare is so important. And if you don't have a good routine that you can keep up with or that you can commit to, definitely start of thinking of one right now because I know it's just little baby steps when you start at first, but it makes the biggest difference in your skin. And now being 31, this is something that I wish I started years ago, like in back in college. Like I don't understand how I got through living in Arizona under the hot sun in college. Uh, without using any sunscreen. Maybe if I started using it then, I wouldn't have all these sunspots. Anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.